In this lab, Dr. Rosa Rademakers and her team have been on a quest to find a cause of two deadly diseases, Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS, and frontotemporal dementia, or FTD, which is a type of dementia unlike Alzheimer's disease in that it causes personality changes, not memory loss. It was really a kind of a race to try and find this. For four years, they studied the genetic information of families who had ALS and FTD. One day, we were looking at the computer screen and all of a sudden there was this special pattern that was only present in the patients and not present in the healthy individuals and at that moment we knew that this was very likely to be it. A never before seen genetic mutation. And you can see that this pattern here where the peaks are big and then they're small, this, this strange pattern that is not present in the two healthy individuals. Dr. Rademacher says before her discovery there were some genes found that were thought to cause about 20 percent of all ALS and FTD cases, but her discovery explains even more. Up to half of all ALS cases and about one-third of all all FTD cases. Every time we identify a new gene, we understand a little bit more about what it is that's causing um, the disease in these patients, what it is that, it, that makes these brain cells die. Dr. Rademacher says this discovery will open avenues of research that may one day lead to effective therapies to help improve and prolong the lives of victims of these diseases. Our hope is that we find um, methods to identify who uh, will develop the disease so that we can interfere with it before it's too late, before the uh, important brain cells have died. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.